Okay, so next example. Determine the value of P that will cause the body to accelerate to 1.8 meters per square seconds. Your coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.2. Okay, so uh, unlike the previous example, okay, for this example, you're looking for force P to accelerate your um, body to 1.8. Uh, meters per square second. So basically, since your objective is to accelerate the body in this particular direction at that particular rate, then we can say that along the vertical axis, you're already stable. Okay? Or that would be already on the state of equilibrium. So along the vertical axis, you would have, or yes, you would have the vertical component of force P. Let's denote that again as Py. And then you also have the normal force acting on your um, interface, crate and um, surface, or crate and floor interface. Let's denote that one as N. Okay? Next, since your movement is on this direction, okay, there would be a frictional resistance which is opposite, on, opposite that direction. Let's denote that one as... Uh, frictional resistance F which is we know that is N times mu K or the coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay? Also you have your horizontal component for force P that would be PY. Okay? Now recalculating what would be our PX and PY? Yeah, sorry that should be PX PX So what is our PX and our PY? Our PY would be equal to that is p times you have 3 over 5 and then you have your px that would be equal to p times 4 over 5 okay now as for uh, the vertical axis you would have summation forces vertical that would be equal to 0 let's take positive upwards that is again equal to zero because you are on the state of equilibrium along the vertical axis okay so on the upward direction you have py and then also you have n and then on the downward direction you have 1500 newtons that is equal to zero calculating for n with respect to py or Calculating N in terms of PY, you would have here N is equal to 1,500 minus PY, or that is N is equal to 1,500 minus PY is P times 3 over 5. Okay? Okay. Next, since we, have, we, now know, we now know the value of N, which is acting on this one, we can now calculate for the frictional resistance which would be induced by the floor against the crate's movement. Okay, so you would have here F now is equal to N times mu K. Okay, so F would be equal to N. You would have here 1,500 minus P times 5 or 3 over 5 rather. 3 over 5. Let me correct that one. That one is 3 over 5. Oops, proper grouping symbol. Multiply that by your coefficient of friction, 0 0.2. Okay? So that would be the value for your F. Next is, along the horizontal, you would have summation of forces is equal to mass times the acceleration. Let's take positive on this particular direction. Again, our objective is to calculate P, wherein your um, acceleration to be yielded by the system is 1.8 meters per second square. Of course, on this direction, since your force P is uh, having a equation or having a component which is pointed on this particular direction. Okay, so positive to the uh, right. Okay, to the right, you would have Px. And then to the left, you have your frictional resistance F. So that would be equal to mass times acceleration. Okay, so substitute values. Px is equal to P times 4 over 5. Okay. And then minus F for this particular instance is 1,500 minus P times 3 over 5. Okay. Multiply that by 0 
um, 2 which is equal to mass in this case is 1500 divided by 9.81 times the end acceleration that is 1.8 meters per square second so you have here one equation with one unknown calculate for the value of p you would have a value for p which is equal to 625.25 newtons